Hello everybody, Minestorm here, and welcome back to City Skylines. In the last episode, we continued to work on expanding the city uh, to uh, account for the various uh, demands that are being made. Uh, primarily commercial and industrial and or office demand. Uh, while we are waiting for the um, population of the city to increase. And population is still increasing if we look at our statistics, uh, still go, you know, the curve is moving up, uh, even though death rate is kind of looks like it's stabilizing somewhat there, birth rate, if you overlay death rate, um, it's still higher, so that's good, influx is okay, oh, I want to see, influx by itself. Still kind of going up and down, but the overall trend is in the positive direction, as usual. So, um, that's good. And I really haven't run the game forward as much as I probably would have liked, except that there is somebody over here who needs water, apparently. Oh, well, I can fix that. There we go. Now, um, over here, uh, we have a rocket ready to launch. We're going to go ahead and launch it. And we did build a little bit of a uh, neighborhood over here next to the rocket launch site. So they're in for a treat and or annoyance when this thing takes off. And as we can see, we are getting some more uh, commercial demand, so we're probably going to deal with that. And then, actually, I wanted to do something slightly different. Let this thing take off. And that is, uh, there it goes. And that is work on some of the transportation issues. Huh, looks like they like that. Uh-oh. One of the buildings at the amusement park is on fire. What is, what is this? The bathrooms are on fire. Well, that's not going to be good for the park goers. Oh, they brought in a helicopter for it? That'll get the job done, I guess. Alright. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do about that commercial demand. One thing we could do is put some commercial zoning along this particular road. But, uh, I don't think I, I really want to do that. Maybe we could put in something over here. Just kind of fill this space in. It's not a terrible idea. I mean, we already have a commercial area here. And is that part of a district? I believe that is part of a district. Okay, let's do this. See, that is a four-lane road, is it not? It is. I should be able to bring... ...that out there. See, we do have this cemetery here that I don't necessarily want to mess with, but we're going to go ahead and swing that road around there, and then kind of bring it in there and make a bit of a goofy intersection, but uh, 
Oh, that, that looks ugly. Let's switch this to a straight road, and... No, it was going to want to curve it. Okay, that that's somewhat better. Okay. into that intersection. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Here's what we'll do. We will put in a bit of a curve there and bring it through to there. That could work. And then bring this across there. That's where it's going to want me to put it. And then we can bring a... A road through there, dead end. Okay. And let's go ahead and extend... This district. go this is probably a lot of leisure zoning to engage in but sure that it has water, right? Some of it does. Now what we might want to do at some point is to bring, or might as well go ahead and do it now. to bring the road here. That may be a bit higher than I needed to be. So let's bring that down. All right, and then we'll select that and match heights to this. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And that'll take care of the commercial situation, I think, for a little bit. Alright, as I was saying, that I'm looking to see if I can't fix some of the transport and traffic problems. Uh, this entire intersection, I think, needs to be reworked. Um, to something a bit more higher capacity than what it currently has. Because we're, we're backing up pretty bad up there. But one thing I did notice by looking at the traffic map is that there is a massive traffic jam that basically runs 
the entire length of this highway coming out of that tunnel. All the way back to here. So that's, that's not great. We need to deal with that. And I think what's causing that particular issue is that there really is no mass transit that connects this particular area of the city to this area of the city other than buses. I mean, buses are fine, but they use the roads. We need something that doesn't use roads to get over here, I think. So... That would be either Metro, which I'm not sure Metro would work that well. This is a lot of elevation change there, and... Might be trouble keeping the Metro underground. Or monorail is an option, but I'm not sure exactly how we would get it there. Um, tram, I think, is also not quite what we're looking for. So I'm thinking train. I'm thinking train is going to be what we want. But the problem is that most of the rail um, on the map right now is pretty heavily utilized. I mean, look at traffic. The rail... Yeah, you know, there's, there's just a lot of rail traffic on the existing rail lines. And there's no really nice rail line that goes from here to there. So I'm thinking we might try to build one. And we want to hook it up to a station. And I'm thinking I want to make a dedicated like express station for this purpose. Um... I mean, I'd like to connect it to the existing transit systems. You know, the monorail, the bus. So, bus. Let's see. Let's add a stop, actually. Let's add a stop on this line. Um, right there. Should be pretty close to that monorail station. I think I might want to upgrade this monorail station, so we're going to pause it here. There's some passengers in there. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to delete that. Clear that out. And what I'm going to want is actually in the monorail... Where is it? Tram, metro, train, ship, plane, monorail. There we are. Metro, monorail, train, hub. That is what I'm looking for. Monorail bus hub. No. We want one of these. And... That's going to be a fairly large structure. This guy is kind of in the way. So you're going to get moved. You're going to get moved over there. It's a police helicopter depot. That's a fire helicopter depot. All right. So let's get this guy in here. There it is. Now. There was a line that that was a part of.
There it is. Alright, let's turn... Turn all those guys off so we can only see this line. Oh, right. There's going to be no line there because there's no path, because it's not actually connected. Right. right. We need an actual... Can I move that stop? That was once there. Oh, I don't want to create a new line. I want to... Nope, that's not what I want to do. change the name again. Oh, this is one thing, is that it is not easy to move or replace or change stops on a line. When you want to replace you want to replace a stop. It's somewhat annoying. What happens if I unpause it? Okay, so we moved the stop. Alright, can I add that stop back in? Okay, there we go. Okay, well that seems to work. Alright, there's also a metro option in there. I'm not necessarily interested in the metro. What I'm interested in is the rail. Now, I have to figure out how I'm going to get the rail from here over there. And I'm thinking we're going to have to go underground. Probably come underground and actually come out of the side of the hill and uh, swing over there in some way. Maybe come along the side of the hill? Well, let's just see. Let's see how it goes. Um, first things first, we need to get that train underground. And let's see if we can do that in the distance that we have.
Slope too steep. Alright, I can get it down 12 meters. So, let's see, do I want to exit here? I think we wanted to bring it down here. I think I wanted to exit. Exit tunnel somewhere around here. See if we can't get this to work. Alright. So this will be basically a straight shot down to here. And let's can't see if I can't bring it out to the surface. Is a that is a steep steep tunnel and then I think we're gonna try and have it Gonna work its way. Come on. Gonna work its way through here. Oh boy, this is all over the place, isn't it? Okay, um... Let's see... I'd like it to... Stay elevated? Oh, don't, don't like wiggle like that. That's I guess I have to do it in smaller sections. Alright, now we're going to need to drop it kind of low. There. So one of them come under this bridge.
Space already occupied. Oh, we're hitting that pillar? This is a pretty serious viaduct we got going here, but hey, it, it should work. We have the money in the bank, we can build it. All right, let's see if we can get that. Where do we want to actually have it come? Let's see, where do we want the bridge? We need a train station somewhere. too crowded. I think what we'll do is we'll need to have it come over here. Um, what we'll probably do is keep it over here until there and then bring it across like that. Okay, and then I'd like to get it over there, which will probably have to tunnel it again. To get it under all of that. Back to the surface there. Okay. So now we need to have the actual uh, train station. We'll go ahead and plug that in. Let's see. We don't have any kind of like train metro connection, right? No. So what I'd like to have is that the train station be near some already existing mass transit. Like near a metro station. But that doesn't look like it's gonna work. Oh well, let's let's drop this in. And we'll figure it out from there. You go in there. Have to slope down quite a bit more. Alright, you 
slope down just a bit more. That should work. There we go. Alright, obviously you're going to need power, and you're going to need... water. Okay. And... might do is set up a bus line from here and it'll be a really really short bus line to there okay that that's a Let's see, if we went from there to there... And we might as well add like a couple of other stops. Like, uh, there, and then... It'll have to come over here somewhere. And then swing in there. Yeah, that'll do. All right, and then we can set up a actual train line from from here to there and then back again. And one thing I could do... Is do that, and that is really goofy, but it works. And that you are not going to allow intercity trains, no. Actually, let's do it this differently. Because that's causing things to look goofy there. Goofier than I'd like. Okay, can I push that further underground? Hold on. Okay, here's what I want you to do. We're gonna destroy this. We're gonna bulldoze that. We're gonna bring this train. We're gonna tell it to force the ground to follow. We'll bring it there. And then bring it up there. Okay, and then for this,
Uh, force elevated. Space already occupied. Okay. And we're going to need to make this higher. Alright, we're going to need to elevate it slightly. We're going to need to get it over there. Then we're going to need to delete this back. There we are. And one thing we could do is grab that node. And bring it up slightly. There we are. Ooh, now that's a bit of ugliness right there. We might want to see if I can fix, fix that. Let's see. And then bring this node up. Just like that. That should be better. Still got a little bit of a bump there, but um, better than it was. You have no passengers on that train. Well, it'll take uh, it'll take some time for passengers to start using that. Looks like we've already got passengers starting to come in here. Alright, and we should have those buses coming from somewhere that will eventually start busing passengers and connecting into you know, this whole area here. Alright, so, that was looking good. So for now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Looks like we got some industrial demand we're going to have to work on next episode. So we'll get to that uh, when we come back next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.